Hello everyone. Welcome to the Network Lobby. This is your instructor Eddie and today we will be continuing our session on IP config release and renew. Let us recap what we did in the last session. In the last session, we ran IP config release and renew, took some packet captures and understood what is exchange between the DHCP client, which is RPC, and the DHCP server and understood that release and renew are two different processes achieving two different results. But in today's session, we are going to understand what these processes really are and what they really do in the background. So let's get on with it. If you look at my system, I'm going to open up the command prompt as usual and I'm going to open up our shark as well. Okay, so let me show you something before we start. So IP config can be used to check the current IP address as well. As you notice, I'm using the wireless LAN. It's showing me less amount of information. So let me use IP config slash all. This gives me much more information. Okay, so this is something that is related to DHCP. As you can see, this shows me the lease information. How much time do I really have the IP address for? So my lease that I have was obtained on 1st March 2017, 1254. And it expires on 2nd March 2017-644. And my DHCP server is 192.168.0.1. Okay, that is good information. Let me take this down over here. As you can see, I have some traffic on Wi-Fi. So let me start capturing. I see a lot of traffic. So let me filter out using just DHCP. Again, boot P, don't forget that. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to use a different order. I'm not going to do release and renew, but rather renew and then release. Okay, before I type that, let me copy this information because we are going to use it for comparison and place it in a notepad. Okay. Okay, back to the session. So let me do a renew over here. As you can see, it started the process. It's a two-step procedure with a DHCP request and an act. So this is half of the DORA process, which, is, which stands for Discover, Offer, Request, and Acknowledgement. As you can see, if I run IP config slash all again, I should see the new information. Let me tell you what the new information really is. So I've copied that other information and pasted it over here. Today's session is mainly about analyzing how this DHCP renew and release really works. So as you can see, the lease obtained remained the same, which means I did not get a new lease. This is not a new IP address. This is still the old IP address that I had. But what you would notice over here is that the expiry date has extended. So it was 644, it's 707. This 707 somewhat matches with my current time. So this is right now 1st of March and 13.08, right? So this was actually 13.07 when I ran this, okay? So if you add up the numbers over here, I ran this command when it was 13.07 and it's 7.07 when this was updated. 
And if you compare the times over here, it's a difference of 16 hours. I'll show you where the 16 hour actually came from. Let's look at the packet capture. This is still running. So let me look at the acknowledgement, which was sent by the server to the client. If you look at this, the IP address leaves time. This is right now set to 16 hours and it was sent from the server to the client. So what really happened was when I renewed the IP address, I extended the existing time I had for the expiry. So whenever I actually renew, it extends the time from the current time to the complete lease time. So my lease time is 16 hours. So it extended from 1307 to the next 16th hour, which is 707. In reality, this was a manual renew, but when the Dora process is actually followed, the client PC automatically renews the IP address 50% of the way, which is if let's say the lease time was one day, then at 12 hours exactly a renewal will take place and the time will be extended if allowed to another day from that 12 hour window which means the time will be extended to 12 more hours from the previous expiry that's about it for renew in the next session we will look at release and understand what release really does in the background catch you all in the next session until then, happy learning.